Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am aware that you've been here for quite a while, so I don't plan to keep you too long. Um, I just want to pull together some thoughts um, around today. Um, and I'd like to kind of take it right back to basics, which is why did I decide to do this conference today? And believe me, there was a couple of points during the day when I was asking myself that question <laughs> in all seriousness. Um, I do think that I'm going to use my husband as an example to explain why I think this conference is necessary. I was speaking to my husband and I said to him, I said, I'm back just for the record, my husband is a social worker and he works with children. Um, and I said to him, I said, if I say information management to you, what do you think? His first response was, meh. His second response was, hmm, probably data protection. His third response was, and I don't really know if that's my job, okay? So in response to meh, I um, bit back on my urge to slap him because really you can't condone any form of domestic violence. <laughs> in terms of compliance, that whole issue about its data protection, it kind of just made me want to put my head in my hands and weep because I know and the information compliance team know and my you know, ally Donald and Paul know that every time we appear at the corporate management group, everybody sort of goes, oh God, it's them again. They're gonna make us do something that we don't have the time to do. They're gonna make us do stuff. But it's more than that. And on the third bit, my response to him in terms of, I don't really know if it's my job. I said, you're a social worker. You work with children. How important is it that the information you have is accurate? Well, very. How important is it that the information you need, you can access when you need it? Well, obviously. How important is it that people who have the information that you need can get it to you and share it with you. Very. How important is it that you have the right information that you can share with other people from other agencies? Crucial. How important is it that you understand where that little person has come from? Vital. How important is it that proper information shapes the plan of where that child is to go. Goes without saying. My question therefore to him was, how on earth can you say that the management of information is not your job? And it's a fundamental thing. When we're talking about transformation, let's strip this back, right back to basics. No one in this room can do their job without information. The success in terms of us doing our jobs depends on the quality of that information, depends on who we share it with, depends on when we get it, depends on what we do with it. If you go back to the four Ps that we talked about this morning, prevention, how can we start speaking about prevention if we don't have the correct information about where we are now and the likely data to inform where we're going to be in 10 or 15 or 20 years time. If you look at place, how can we begin to start doing things like locality planning if we don't know the accurate information and the story of that place? If you look at people, how can we begin to actually effectively manage people, get people to do the best, get them to be doing the, exploiting the skills that they have if we don't know all of the relevant information about them. And performance, how can we actually start thinking about performance and changing the way that we deliver 
if we don't have accurate information about what it is that we're doing now and the benefits and the outcomes that we're achieving from that. When we talk about corporate assets, we talk about the money, because it's all about the money, is it? We talk about the people, and there's absolutely no doubt that people in an organisation such as a local authority are the most valuable asset, because without you, we can't do the job. Or could we? We also talk about the infrastructure, the stuff. That's all necessary. And when you look at transformation programmes, and it was quite horrifying this morning to hear that 75% of transformation programmes don't actually succeed. That's because the solution to transformation is change the people, get them doing different stuff, build new shiny things, let's spend money, let's save money, let's cut money. But actually, you need to know that you're spending money on the right things. You need to know that you're building the right things, that you're buying the right systems. You need to know what people need. You need to know what you're doing. You need to know what your outcomes are. And so therefore, how can you do any of that if you don't have good quality information? Information is what underpins everything. This is why we did this conference today. It was the first of its kind. There were certain bits that I'm sure tonight in the pub we're gonna go, mm, meh, that didn't work that well. Um, but the fundamental thing is that we're here. We're here for the first time. We know the agenda that we have. We know the challenges that we have. And my challenge to the managers out there is, do you know what you, who your record managers are? Do you know what they can do for you? And my challenge to the record managers is, are you really doing what the business needs you to do? And are you gazing with management to help us achieve better outcomes for our communities? I'll leave you with that note. Knowledge is power. Information is everything. Take care and thank you very much for coming.